body and voice, Blair Nias. So you can see my smile right here. This is what I'm working with. Um, the ratio of my mouth is about three quarter gums to one quarter teeth. Uh, I look like the love child of Katie Couric and Donkey from Shrek. But um, I don't get upset when my friends call me a gummy Blair because I know where my assets lie. Uh, get a little of that backyard, you see that? You see all that wagon I'm dragging? Yeah, baby got back. Absolutely no front, but plenty of back. Um, so my boyfriend's white. Yep, that's the same response my mom had. Uh, yeah, and um, I'm not saying, I'm an equal opportunity dater, um, but I will admit, for the last couple of years, my love life has looked like a 1950s lunch counter, whites only. Um, I don't mind that he's white, but it's, it's kind of rough that he's so skinny. It makes me kind of self-conscious about my body. Like, he's so thin and white, I want to snort him. Uh, <laughs> So I lost a bunch of weight recently, and I'm really proud of myself. Uh, I owe it all to my strict diet and exercise regime, which is uh, binge drinking, bulimia, and cocaine. Um, it's been working out really, actually, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm not bulimic. Uh, but no, I really did lose 240 pounds, which is pretty impressive. Uh, his name was Jack. <laughs> New boyfriend. Uh, my, my ex is a redneck. Like, he literally sounded like a real life version of Boomhauer from King of the Hill. He'd be like, Man, I'm stone, give me some lava, give me some dreams, give me some, 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 some. Know what I'm saying? I was like, No, I don't know what you're saying. I haven't known what you're saying for five and a half years. But uh, right after that, I dated another redneck because I have good decision in life making choices. Um, and uh, he was really sweet, though. Uh, the first date he took me on was to a bonfire party in the middle of the woods in Stanley County, and I was the only black person there. I was the polka dot. Uh, and it was great though, because when I got there, I was like, is this a party or a meeting? <laughs> um, am I a guest or am I just expected? <laughs> Are we gonna play pin the darky to the tree? Um, no, I got out of there the, once my, my life, and that's so great. Um, I just wanna give the guys some advice though, um, and it's gonna help you pick up women and make your life so much simpler. Don't ever refer to our genitals by the clinical term. No panties have ever dropped because some guy said, can I have sexual intercourse with your vagina? Nope, it's not gonna work out, we clam up. Uh, however, we all have nicknames for our down there, like mine's a hoo-ha, or Al Pacino might call it a hoo-ha. Um, <laughs> I've heard uh, JJ, um, a couple of them is down south of her vagina. Like, my vagina is acting up. I'm like, that's more information I needed to know. But the best name I ever heard was my friend. I asked her what she called hers, and she said, lonely. <laughs> Sad, yeah. <laughs> I spent a lot of time up watching commercials, and um, there's one that I think all of us have burned into our collective memory, and it's also caused a severe aversion every time I hear Sarah McLaughlin's music. Yeah, the ASPCA. Um, in the arms of the angel for just $19 a month, you can help to stop kicking the uh, puppies down the flights of stairs. Fly away from here for just $19 a month, we'll stop putting kittens in ovens. I'm like, <laughs> I just spent $19 on Wendy's. Don't, don't judge me, I like Wendy's. Uh, I, I could easily write a check to the ASPCA and save some little puppies and kittens. What bothers me about this is a little while ago, there was another commercial. Except for instead of puppies and kittens, they were little African babies with distended bellies and the flies all over the face, and all they wanted was six dollars a month. Six dollars a month, they got clean water, education, outdated t-shirts, an education, an education. So what you're telling me is I can send three Ethiopians to med school or pay room board for a one-eyed puggle? There's a misappropriation of funds going on here. Woo